Good morning, it's me. I'm back. I'm Stephanie Flath, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. And I'm coming to you live on Wednesday morning, 10.30 a.m. And it's the 13th of October. Um, so I'm glad to be here. I'm going to, um, I'm on my Facebook business page right now. This is live right now. Um, but when I post to YouTube, obviously it's a replay. Um, if you're joining me, make sure that you let me know. Say hi. That would be lovely. And um, I'm going to um, refresh my page here so that I can see comments on my page. Um, I think a couple of you are watching, but I haven't seen any hellos yet. Um, oops, I don't know what happened there. Um, okay, so today I'm going to be showing you um, something that I showed my, hi Kathy, something that I showed my um, team last week. Hi Arlene. And hi Marsha. Wow, thanks for sharing already. Um, I showed my team last week and I'm doing a different version of it. Um, I'll tell you about it in a minute. And... I'm going to use one of my favorite stamp sets from last year. Does anybody have any guesses what I'm doing from last year? Um, <clears throat> I want to do my randomizer, but I'm going to let a few people get on quick first. Um, so while I'm waiting for just a little bit, reminder, my... <clears throat> fall, Christmas, one day, crafting retreat. Uh, the registration deadline is um, uh, this Saturday, the 16th. So make sure that you sign up. I will put a link in here um, uh, at the top of the video when I'm done. So, um... <laughs> Nope, not Playful Penguins. Good morning, Sherry. I'm so glad that you're here. We missed you at our meeting last week, but I'm showing one of the things that we made. Um, hi, Pedro. Hi, Cindy. Good to see you all. Um, any other guesses? Um, Playful Penguins, that one. I remember liking that one, but I don't know if that, that was a favorite. I, I do love penguins, though. They're adorable. Um... And I, <laughs> I, hi, Carrie, and Marsha, too. Hello. Um, two Marshas. I love when that happens. <laughs> I often have two Jamies, two Marshas, sometimes two Marlenes. Um, so speaking of, um, while I'm waiting for just a little bit, I have to tell you, speaking of penguins, it made me think of, um, I don't know if you guys saw, but Tyler, my son, um, got a new dog, I'll say a month ago. I'm not really sure. Um, um, and then a couple of his best friends, they just got a new dog um, this weekend. And their dogs are buddies already, and they are too cute together. They're just hilarious. <laughs> Tyler's sick home right now, so he's um, he was sending pics several times yesterday. <laughs> They're hilarious. Um, oh, sorry about connection problems, but I'm glad that you're on now. Hi, Jamie. Um, what kind of dog did he get? He got, okay, just a sec. I always... A boar doodle, so a border collie, poodle, regular poodle mix. Um, he, it's amazing how fast they grow. He was pretty tiny when Tyler first got him, and you don't realize uh, he doesn't know what he has right now. Um, uh, so I don't know. He's still waiting for results. Um, uh, so, hi Terry. So, um, so he got a boar doodle 
and it's black. It has a little bit of white on it, um, on one paw, on the belly, and a couple of strands on the end of his tail. <laughs> it's so funny, and he's so cute. Um, see, I'm not, Pedro, I'm not an animal person, but I'll look at pictures and think that they're cute. <laughs> And even I'll give pets, but then they need to be gone. <laughs> um, but the um, the friend's dog is, uh, oh, what is it called? It's the more common one, Labradoodle. So um, Lab Poodle Mix. And her name... Oh, first of all, Tyler says his name is Walter. <laughs> Cracks me up. Um, the other dog's name is Ginger Snap, and she is like a honey brown, totally looks like a Ginger Snap. And she's got spunk, and <laughs> one of the pictures Tyler sent yesterday was her just sitting on his head. Just, she was pausing, looking at the camera. <laughs> And he just puts up with it. That's too funny. Anyway, they are pretty cute. And then standing at the window. Oh my goodness. The, their paws on the... They're hilarious. Uh, oh, good job working on behavior. That would be real... See, I, that's, that's one of the reasons why I don't want one. Another reason is... Because I would end up doing all the work with a dog. Because it would be home with me all day long up with me all night long, chewing on all my stuff. Oh, I couldn't take it. I just couldn't do it. All right, so I'm going to the randomizer now. So I have everybody loaded up. So um, I have two projects to give away, but I don't remember what they are. One's a pumpkin. I don't know. Anyway, I know I have two projects. So I'm going to start. Whoops. I have to remove names after. Okay, I'm starting it right now. And no, I still haven't sent out the other cards um, that I still have sitting here yet. Um, <laughs> they, are, they are really funny, Pedro. Okay, Dina, you are my first winner. Uh... I'll have to post a picture here. Um, seems like I posted it. Oh, maybe it was just on my team page. I don't remember. Um, but I'll have to. Okay. Sorry. I totally went away from, from this. Um, I'll have to post a picture um, on my. Uh, they're hilarious. On, on my business page. Okay. So Dina Edwards. Congratulations. You're my first winner. Now I need to pick another name. Um, and start. Kathy Polderman. I think you're a winner second week in a row. I don't remember. I just know I owe you one. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Going back to page now. Um, thanks for sharing, Penny. Hi, Nancy. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm glad you're on here, even if it's just for a short time. Um, okay, so I'm done with my randomizer, and I'm ready to share stuff with you. So the first thing that I'm going to show is I'm going to use um, Pretty Pumpkins again um, for this first one, but it's just the greeting from it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you will like them, Pedro. Um, you're welcome, Kathy. Thanks for your patience with me. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to do, make a bag out of um, an envelope. Um, it's not the same kind of bag. I remember making bags, like when I was first a demonstrator, and we called it a bagalope. That's probably what this is called, too. I don't know, but it's totally a different look than what the other one was. Um, 
Anyway, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to use Pretty Pumpkins. And then I'm going to make another project. And my um, favorite stamp set from last year that, um, that you didn't come up with was Love of Leaves. And it's not so much the stamp set as the dies, which I found this morning I'm missing two of them. I don't know if it happened at retreat or what, or if it's in one of my other things because of retreat. I don't know, but anyway, so here are the dies. Remember, these are stitched leaves. You can cut them out, you can stitch them. I love it, I just love it. Okay, so I'm gonna be using that. So I'm gonna put you down, and I'm going to show you what we're gonna do. So, um, oh, I need my wand. Backwards, upside down, and down. Okay, so um, so the first um, thing that I'm going to do is the bag. The, yeah, the bag from the envelope. And so I need my trimmer for this. So first, the first thing that we want to do actually is we're going to trim off the, cut off the gummy part of the envelope. Is that what you call it? The gum, where, where you would stick it. Um, I think you need to cut off three quarters of an inch, so I think you'll line up at five and three quarter, and then cut that off. Is that right? Yep, that's right. So just this little skinny, skinny part comes off. Okay, now I'm going to fold it back up, and I'm going to line each of the bottom three sides up at three quarters of an inch and I'm going to score it. So one of the things, I don't know if you guys have this trimmer or not, but one of the things that I love about our trimmer, I don't know if other ones have it, but our old one from this, it sort of had it, but it's even more on this one. Well, it did have it, but it's just farther. I like that <clears throat> <clears throat> there's a wider part to the right of my <clears throat> my blades um, because then I can score or cut tiny little sections so I can go anywhere from well nothing or a sixteenth or eighteenth of an inch <laughs> eighth of an inch I mean to this goes out to one and a half inches. So that, um, I love that. Okay, so I scored on side, bottom, side um, of this. And that's all that I need for my paper trimmer. So now I want my bone folder. So we wanna crease on these score lines both ways forward and backward. It just helps it be more pliable when we want to fold on it or yeah, that. So by the way, this is not my idea. I think it was, if I remember correctly, it was um, an idea from an artisan, oh, what do we call those? I'll just say there's special artists that Stampin' Up! chooses every year to do, um, amazing samples um, they choose they have concept artists and stuff like that oh sorry okay bye Carrie <clears throat> um, <clears throat> they have concept artists <clears throat> um, but they like to get demonstrator artists also so I'm doing this folding and creasing and whatever um, right now, um, but I want to decorate this before I um, before I sort of put it all together. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm using the designer paper. I should show you again. Where did I put it? I know I pulled the. Well, it's the, oh, there it is. It got buried somehow. I don't know how that ever happens. 
Um, I'm using the Beauty of the Earth um, designer paper again. I used this last week. Um, and I, it's kind of the only fall one that I have. And um, I just wanted to fall a fall mix of colors. So, um, so I'm going to take my... Take my designer paper here and my adhesive. That would be helpful. And I'm gonna gonna get it started. Um, gonna put adhesive on here. So I'm decorating the front of this flap. This section, once you put it, um, once you score it at three quarters of an inch on all th the three bottom sides um, it, it ends up being four and a quarter inches wide and I want so this is the other side of this um, design paper and I want there to wanted there to be a difference in design I wanted there to be a border of difference here so I'm putting this on top of it so you can see both of them okay and then also before I do this so this is going to be the front of our bag and I want to stamp here um, this says gather together this so this would actually be a really cute like uh, table setting or party favor or something like that it wouldn't even have to be Thanksgiving gather together could be could be lots of events I guess we'll call it so we have that okay so now I'm gonna make the <clears throat> the bag part so the first thing that I need to do is open everything all up so these these creases make the box be able to be or the bag I guess we'll call it to be able to have depth width I don't know what what you want to call it hi Marlene <clears throat> um, so it takes a little bit of finagling here to get it you want to make the the bottom flat and I want to you end up with this um, with this point here that it would be helpful if you use the bone folder on that it would make everything cooperate better so you want a point right there and then if you flatten this and go to the other side and do the same thing if you can see when I do that on camera Let's see if I can get it this time oops I gotta get it straight first before I can try showing you that would be helpful this wants to come out funny just a sec not creasing up my corner right. Easier said than done, right? Alright, well we're going to go with it. No, oh, it's just not... I don't know. It's just not quite right. Alright, well anyway, I got my creases. Now to help me put everything together a little bit, I'm going to fold this See, it doesn't want to do that. I'm going to fold this in. So it's going to be sort of like a grocery bag sort of thing because this part can fold in. And this top part, these folds, they come in also. So 
sort of bending this a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna use my tear and tape and get my corner folded up. Put tear and tape on both of these. I'll show you in a second what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna peel these off and then I'll show you. Okay, so I put tear and tape See if I can get this right here. So. Okay, so can you see the wings that are out here? These end up happening. So I have tear and tape on right here on both of them. So I'm going to fold this up. It's still not making it square for me on this side. And fold this up. And then I can gather the bag a little bit. And that. And then, okay, so I'm not putting chocolate in this one. You could. Wait, can I? I think I can. So I have, I have enough left for, no, I don't. I have to save that. Okay, so I'm just going to put um, a cute little post-it note pad in here. So I'm going to put this on here and fold it down so I have this. And then I want wanted to, I didn't do this on at our team meeting, but I want to hold, be able to hold this closed but not like staple it or attach it or anything like this. So I'm using this, this ribbon, oh what is it called? All I know is it's early espresso. That's the wrong one. It's a faux suede, I think is what it's called. It's from the full catalog. Just a sec, I'm looking. Faux suede trim is what it's called. It's a quarter inch. I like things that are about a quarter inch wide. I don't like it smaller than that, but I like quarter inch. So I'm just tying in that. So this is just to keep your keep the box closed. And cut this. And then oops. And then I'm gonna use we have lots of embellishments in the new and the in the mini and the full catalog. These are from the full catalog. These are last year's in colors, or the the ones that have been around for two years. Could you tape those little triangles to the bottom of that to the sides? Well, let me tell you, that was my original plan. Um, but then when I made it with my team, one of the people said, I feel like it goes better up on the side. So I'm like, all right, so I did just what she did. Okay, so I'm putting this square, I forgot what it's called, in color embellishment is all I know. So this is Misty Moonlight, which is also in this designer paper. And there you have it. So yes, you could, but it might tend to get more caught on things. I don't, I don't really know. Um, I'm trying to picture like a, a normal bag. Let's see if I have a bag around. Normal bag. Yeah, they don't really have them coming up the sides. They have a, a fold at the bottom. Anyway, so this is my project. Isn't it cute? It <clears throat> the last one that I made went together much easier than this one did. And I'm not sure what happened for it to cause that. But I love that you can just make a little bag out of envelopes that you already have on hand. Okay, next project. I wonder if you could stand upright. 
Well, it will stand up right now. I'm just not showing it to you that way because you, then you can't see it. <laughs> so it was standing up. It has the it has the box bottom. See, here's the bottom. I just wasn't doing it so you could see it better. Um, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside for the moment. Okay, next project I'm gonna show you is a sim fairly simple card. Um, and I'm using the same designer paper again. I just, I'm going with it. Um, actually, the same design as I did last week. Um, I want my Stamparatus this time for reasons that I mentioned, I think, last week. And that is in case something, I feel like this font is a little bit bigger, but in case something is not quite as dark as I want it. So I'm going to take my, um, my designer paper that I'm using. And I'm going to line it up in here. I don't have it set up this time. I'm showing you literally how I set it up when I do my Stamparatus. So I'm going to decide where I want to stamp this. It says, I thought of you today. And that's where I want to stamp it. So I'm going to pick it up. Now, because this is photopolymer, I should show you really quick. Because this is photopolymer, I do have the black cushion that comes with the Stamparatus on here. Now, you don't use it if you're using the red rubber or the cling stamps because, well, let me show you quick in case I haven't shown you before. So the red rubber already has cushion in there. For some reason, you kind of need that cushion when you're stamping. That's why we put a cushion underneath when we're stamping or even on the Stamparatus. So there's a cushion on the red rubber, so you don't use it for that. But look, obviously the photopolymer doesn't have it because you need to be able to see through it. That's kind of what we love about it. So, so the cushion's under here. I placed my stamp where I wanted it and I pressed my plate on it to pick it up. And now it's always helpful if you have, it seems like the, um, I had my adhesive under there, but it seems like a stamp case, the DVD size stamp case is the perfect thickness for it to be nice and flat for you to ink it up. So I'm gonna use Night of Navy. It's one of the colors in this designer paper. And I'm going to stamp it. Mm, looks nice, but I want to do it one more time. Maybe more than that, but I want it to be nice and dark, so I want to go on it again. <sighs> so good. One more time. Can't get enough. <laughs> the Stamparatus makes me so happy when it works the way it's supposed to. When it might not work the way it's supposed to is if I don't have my magnets down or, um, I don't know, sometimes it just wants to lift if I don't have enough room on here to get my magnets placed well. Um, but that's all that I needed that for. And now I need cushion. I'm gonna set this aside. Now I need cushion. And <clears throat> on here, I'm inking up this long leaf here. Now, I'm going to show you again before I stamp this. Okay, so notice in this stamp set that it's, um, it's splotchy. It's intended to be that way. Um, so when you see my inked image, um, my stamped image, um, you don't have to worry. That's the way it's supposed to be. And so see, it's kind of splotchy, but that's okay. That's the way we want it. Okay, so Night of Navy. What is this? <clears throat> Here's Cajun Craze first. Cajun Craze. 
these. This one's extra splotchy. The, I think it's because it's the older style ink pad, or maybe it's more inked, or I don't know. Um, I need to quick clean that stamp. All right. Then I have Mary Merlot. I never use this color. Um, I really like it, but I don't know. I just don't end up using the color. So get this other leaf here. And last one is Cinnamon Cider. So I didn't use Mary Merlot last week. Um, there's cinnamon cider. All right. But the rest of these colors I used in some form or another. Okay. So I want to show you really quick. I'm, I already did the die cutting, but I'm going to show you really quick, um, these dies. So for this leaf, for example, there are two pieces. Um, there's this piece that um, it's it cuts it out and it stitches what's left behind see the stitching that's left behind on here can you see that so you put this down to cut it out but then you put this piece down to give it stitching like the veins type stitching Okay, so I already did this, so I'm going to put these back. I just wanted to show you the two-part two thing here. And now I will pull out all my, all my leaves here. Oh, I don't need both of those colors. I keep pulling the wrong color. There's this. And one more. I buried it again. I can't find my navy one. And that's the one I really want. Just a sec. I'm trying not to cross in front of you and in my camera. Just lost it. Sorry, I'm totally crossing in front of you. Just a sec. So sorry. <laughs> I really want the navy one because instead of stamping on a tiny piece, I stamped on my um, <laughs> what's going to be my layer for my card. And it won't fit. Oh, there it is. Okay. This wouldn't fit in my mini boss. <laughs> But these are done. Okay, so now I'm going to put the card together. So we need this back. I'm using crumb cake for my card base. And I'm making, making a Knight of Navy um, layer here underneath my designer paper. And then I'm putting my designer paper down. I considered using this green side and doing a bunch of greens instead, but I liked going with this, this different colors here. Same thing that I showed, same design that I showed last week. Okay, now I want to put my leaves down. It would have been good if I had used my, my, what do you call it, adhesive sheets. But I didn't, so I'm going to get this started again and get all my leaves ready so I can place them and have them 
have them be where I want. Okay. Now, what I want to do with this is, is I want them on the side here, but I sort of want them like straddling the... I, I want them off my layer here a little bit, too. Um, off my layer? Off my, my mat. Not sure I put this down enough. Just a sec. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna move this a little bit. Okay. And then this is going here. And this is going here. And this is going here. So I sort of wanted it to look like falling leaves on top of all these watercolor -y trees and stuff like that. And then last thing that I want to do is add some bling, of course. And I'm just using our, um, our rhinestones, basic rhinestones. So I'm just going to scatter them around here. It just sort of makes um, everything pop a little bit. There you go. There's my card. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm done, so I'm pulling you up. So up on the upside down, put you backwards again. And here I am. Okay. <clears throat> so... Here's my card. Um, I like these colors. They're sort of different for fall, but I like something to be different than pumpkin pie all the time. That's always what my go-to for fall is pumpkin pie. So here is my last card that I made. Yeah, thanks, Marsha. I appreciate that. Um, so I showed the card. Oh, and then here's the bag. Yeah, so we have blue going on today. <laughs> and it does sit as a box. <laughs> box bottom. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate that. Did I miss somebody? Oh, and Jamie shared. Thank you so much. You still can get it. What do you mean you... Oh, you know what? I waited too long to get it, too. Not Well, not too long. I didn't even notice it. I don't know if you remember this from last year. I didn't even notice it in the catalog until somebody um, sent me a swap with it, and I was like, ah, I love it. I didn't even notice the stitching. And I had just ordered that morning, and I had to place another order. I was, it was a need. Because <laughs> I love it so much. Uh, okay, I'm showing you this again. I just love this. The colors make me happy. I love that this background is muted. I love that these are bold. But it's a simple card. I love it. Okay. So that's all that I have for you. Um... Yeah, that's it. So I have reminders for you. First of all, make sure that you share my video. When you do, that helps me. That helps my business. Hopefully that helps others because they're enjoying it and needing to see paper crafting also. Um, and when you share, make sure that you come back and tell me that you shared here. Um, because then I will enter you into a drawing for the projects that I just made. Um, I think this bagalope, we'll call it, can't really be shipped. So we're going to have to pick this up too, even though it's not chocolate. <laughs> um, thank you for sharing, ladies. I appreciate it. So, um, so make sure that you share. 
make sure that you register for my retreat if you haven't done that yet. I We have a few spots left. Um, get them while you can. Um, Saturday ends uh, the registration, but if they sell out before um, before then, then, you know, that's too bad. Sorry. Um, and then what's another thing? Oh, there are two new kits. Well, one, one new kit and, and a paper pumpkin kit that I haven't even shared yet. The paper pumpkin kit for the next month is going to be um, some adorable um, treat containers. One of them, I think there's three designs it said. One of them is going to be a snowman. It's really cute. Um, and then there's also a tags kit that's amazing. So lots to think about. <laughs> oh, and of course, make sure that if you want to join my team that you do that or you ask me about it, if you have questions. All right, thanks so much for joining me today. I had fun crafting with you, and um, make sure if you have any interest in other classes that maybe I didn't mention specifically today, um, you can go to my website anytime, dazzlebystamping.com, and um, click on events, and you can see everything that I have available. And, um, uh, you can go there for other samples and stuff like that, too. So thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.